medium transport ship glides between the Lagrange points of a failing binary system, caught between silent but roaring shades of red and blue. Hard, utilitarian angles form the front of the craft, with bold, thick lines sweeping over the top to meet at two towering bridge points. Those points are the only thing about this ship that draws the eye, but you never remove them. You like the impression the structure leaves on you, and the shadow it casts, like that of a lone sentinel. The engines are purpose-built to force up well from the pull of an enormous, incredibly dense prison planet named Megalox Beta, a prison famous for needing nothing more than the threat of a step outside of its artificial gravity field to keep its charges in line. Each side of the vessel bulges out, pregnant with cells for transporting inmates and visitors alike to a space station that was just in orbit, powering that field. The ship itself was easy enough to obtain. Once the planet's gravity field was disabled by the so-called resistance, anyone who cared where it might go simply crumpled into the ground. The prison was abandoned shortly after, its history and burdens filed away somewhere by perhaps even the same droid who randomly generated its namesake in the first place. With the right connections, the hardware was obtained at a pittance and modified to suit your purpose. The Resistance. Fools blinded by propaganda. Anyone who knew the meaning of the word would be fighting to restore law and order back to this corrupt galaxy. Fighting to bring balance between those who eat and are eaten. You now walk the path to unlocking your true potential. You now have the means to devour those used to feasting on the weak. When it is time, your master will bring you even greater revelations. The interior is stripped down of the fundamentals, which suits you just fine. Exilin life usually lends itself to an unconscious drive for more, a need to step squarely on the nearest face to boost oneself up to gain just a little more purchase out on the edge of a souring dream. If you were ever fueled by that drive, you never noticed it. Your goals were simple, timeless in those days. The thought brings an unbidden flash of a silverback Wookiee, cracking into what only a friend would know as a smile. A deeper part of your mind brings forth the piercing scent of Sansana Spice, Rhapsody and Burnt Sienna, paired with the warmth of an embrace. The diffused glow of neon, warped and reflected by a large pair of eyes that threaten to envelop you totally. Instead, they dissipate, slipping beneath a swell of anger that has now begun to sustain you. Another life, belonging to a weaker man. Message received. Our mutual friend will no doubt be satisfied. We'll change your transponder codes at the next port. In the cockpit, a twinkling blue pulsar reflects off of the one ornate touch allowed. A long, curved string of Beskar vertebrae. A fitting reminder of what is really needed to support a being. A sense of satisfaction follows you through the jump to hyperspace. <laughs>